My name is Dale Fisher and I'm Director of Education at the University of Iowa Museum of Art and um, I wanted to have a look at this John Marin painting off Flint Island, Maine coast from 1933. One of the things that I like about John Marin as a painter is that he was on that first wave of American modernism and part of Alfred Stieglitz's circle of uh, artists that he supported and promoted at the turn of the century in New York City. So about the time that um, Impressionism and Post-Impressionism was playing itself out in Europe, you had these artists on this side of the Atlantic Ocean looking back to Western art history and then also trying to create a strong American identity. And uh, John Marin was one of those people. So in his body of work, which is uh, pretty broad. He has some oil paintings, a lot of watercolors, and a lot of drawings, and a lot of prints. Uh, I do tend to like the watercolors the best because they're, um, there's a freshness and immediacy to them that um, you don't get with oil paintings no matter how spontaneous they're painted. And so uh, the immediacy of the application of the watercolor in this main coast scene uh, it's just kind of a nice blend of medium and also subject matter. Um, the fluidity of the ocean with the fluidity of the medium seems to be like a good match. So uh, with this idea of John Marin being in that first wave of American artists at the turn of the 20th century, you know, you have to think of him in terms of the other people in that artistic and social circle. Uh, people like Georgia O'Keeffe and Arthur Dove and Marsden Hartley, uh, Charles Sheeler, Charles DeMuth, all kinds of people who were uh, really pushing for a distinctly American view. And, uh, and you don't get much more American than the rocky coast of Maine. It's a really unique looking place where the granite meets the water, basically. And I think that he uh, captures that pretty well this painting from the middle of his career. Also, this is a work on paper in our collection, and works on paper, due to the light and the, and the uh, environment, they can't be out as long or as often as paintings on canvas and sculptures and things like that. So the chance to see them is uh, limited, and so their exhibition is rare. And so in the seven years that I've worked here, this is only the second time this has been out. As we're putting together this Legacy for Iowa exhibition, we're going with the heavy hitters in our collection in the rest of the galleries. So whenever this smaller gallery was decided that it could be works on paper, so that if it needed to change more frequently, um, we would have other options to put in here. Um, I think that that's probably why it is and in our works on paper. In this gallery, we have some really strong uh, works of the early, early 20th century, which is one of the strengths of our collection.